I regret selling my Pepe. I could have made $77,000 if I didn't sell my Pepe. Let's talk about why I sold, how much I made, and make sure you guys steal till the end to hear what I'm looking for to buy more Pepe. Right behind me here is my Pepe wallet. Initially, I ended up buying just over 20 billion Pepe, a large amount of Pepe. This initially took 10 Ethereum to buy, so this was not a small investment by any means. I went pretty much all in. This was like 80%, 90% of my crypto portfolio that I put into Pepe. I went all in because at the time I had a really good feeling. I really believed in Pepe. I knew Pepe was going to be exploding. And so I decided, you know what, let's send it. Let's put the vast majority of the crypto portfolio into Pepe and see what happens. Now this transaction took place on April 30th when I ended up buying this Pepe. And if we look at the price of Pepe at that time, you can see April 30th was all the way back in this range. So Pepe price was a lot lower. We were below the one level even. We are way low on the price of Pepe and I'm selling it just shortly after and we're going to talk about why I did that and how much I made off that trade but when we go ahead and look you guys can see I end up selling it on May 4th. So I ended up selling my Pepe on May 4th which came in right around this point for pricing. So my Pepe went up dramatically and I decided to take the profits. Now the reason why I sold is because I was looking at it and saw at the time I was going to be profiting substantially on Pepe. I was going to be looking at basically $8,000 gain roughly and I wanted to go ahead and have money to be able to pay my bills going forward for the next couple of months. That's something I wanted as a comfort level for me. That's something I need personally as always. You guys make sure that you're doing your trades based on what you need. If you want to go for 100x, do that. If you want to make just $1,000 to help subsidize maybe some games you want to buy or whatever, do that. Do whatever is right for you. But for me, what was right for me was make sure I had my money for my bills for the next couple of months. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to take the profits and I'm going to cash out and sell a Pepe. Then what I ended up doing later on is doing some swing trading. So in this wallet, you guys can see, I ended up buying back into Pepe a little bit later on and then sold out of Pepe after that a little bit. And what I ended up doing is doing some swing trades. One of those swing trades was up here. I ended up seeing the prices dip down in here and then sold it up here. So got a few thousand dollars off a of swing trade there and did another swing trade somewhere in this range as well. So did a couple different swing trades shortly after selling out of my Pepe towards the peak. And these different swing trades allowed my total profit from Pepe to be about six Ethereum worth or about $12,000. So made enough money to cover my bills for a couple of months, which was really great. And this was good for me at the time with what I was needing. And this is something that I needed to do. But I realized if I had held Pepe and ended up selling at a higher price, not even timing the peak perfectly. Let's go to one hour so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but not even timing this peak perfectly. But instead, I end up selling, let's say, on this rebound instead right in here, basically at a 3738 level. So not even at this peak. Would have made way more if I sold up there at about 4243. But let's say I missed that peak, it sold off, and then I decided to sell right here. If I had done that instead, I would have totally sold my Pepe for $77,000. Again, put it about 10 ETH or about $20,000 at the time. So subtract that, I would have profited about $52,000 thousand dollars on pepe which would have been absolutely crazy to have that much profit on pepe i missed out on making all that money on pepe but i decided you know what again this was what was right for me this is what i needed to do at the time this is what i felt was right this is what i felt was a good decision and if i remember correctly this was in the range of about 800 million dollar market cap and i had a feeling pepe was going to touch 1 billion but i figured at that point it would sell off i did not think pepe was going to go that crazy i didn't think we were going to have what we ended up having we had three major news events back to back to back, which caused this massive run up in a short period of time, a couple of hours, where Pepe went up and peaked at about $1.6 billion market cap. I didn't think that was going to happen. I thought Pepe was going to peak at about a billion, sell off at that point, and then that would have been another buying opportunity. That brings me to the next point. What am I looking for right now to buy back into Pepe? And before we get into that, make sure you guys subscribe down below, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on more great content just like this. And so for me, my thought was that basically a $1 billion market cap, I would sell and then buy back in lower. Obviously, Pepe blew way beyond that and just absolutely blew away my expectations for this thing. I figured this was going to be a top meme coin and at a $1 billion market cap, this thing was going to be a top three meme coin going forward. I just never thought it was going to go that crazy. And so what happens, Pepe goes that crazy, I get proven wrong. And so what I'm looking for now is, okay, so now I have a frame of reference. Pepe can do way more than I thought it could. Pepe is going to, in my opinion now, be a top three meme coin going forward. I think Pepe, right now, obviously, you guys can see Pepe performing really well. Today is not so great of a day, but overall, right, this thing is still just over a month old cryptocurrency, just shy of two month old cryptocurrency, about $560 million market cap still, still within the top 100 ranking and ranking number 74 right now. That's absolutely crazy for a cryptocurrency to do that. We're still seeing volume hit over $100 million a day for Pepe, which is absolutely insane, especially when we compare this to some other big cryptocurrencies or some other big meme coins like Floki, for example. Floki right now, about $300 million market cap, but this thing's obviously been around for a lot longer. And the volume on this one, shy of $50 million a day. So this cryptocurrency 
has been around for much longer. Floki came around originally in 2021. This thing's been around for so long. This was one of the larger different meme coin type cryptocurrencies, but then obviously Dogecoin and Shiba Inu are the biggest ones by far. Dogecoin just over $10 billion market cap, volume just shy of $200 million. Shiba Inu looking kind of similar, about $5 billion market cap, volume just shy of $100 million. I think Pepe is going to be one of the top three going forward. Now, I think it's very possible for us to get some events that are going to cause Pepe to actually overtake Shiba Inu, maybe even Dogecoin, but I think it's going to be the top three. Maybe it'll be Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Pepe. Maybe it'll be Dogecoin, Pepe, Shiba Inu. I'm not sure how the rankings are going to end up at the end of the day, but Pepe has so much potential. I feel like a lot of people are looking at this thing, seeing, yeah, Pepe sold off quite a bit when we zoom out. Let's go back over to a four hour chart so we can see this a little bit better. But when people look at this, people see Pepe went down dramatically and people think, oh, this is the end of Pepe. Pepe is done for. I don't think so. I think Pepe is going to be here to stay. Pepe is going to be a top meme coin going forward. And one thing I'm looking for is this buy threshold. You can see that right behind me. That's going to be at this line right in here, basically where we ended up bottoming out before and where we also had some different support and resistance levels. And so this is basically the level that I'm looking at to see where Pepe goes to. And then that's where I want to buy in again. It's basically at the 1-1 one, one level right now. We're at 1-4. So we do have a decent ways for Pepe to drop before I would be comfortable doing a big buy, right? To be clear, I still hold Pepe. I still hold Pepe on an exchange, but if I was going to go ahead and buy big into Pepe again, I'd want to see it drop down to about this level, see a couple other things go right. We've talked about a lot of those on this channel, and if you want to learn more about what some of those other indicators are that I'm looking forward to, to see Pepe go back beyond all-time highs, check out this video up here, and I'll catch you on the next one.